السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today I will talk to you about an incident happened to a young man at the age of 32 was very kind considerate did not have beard to grow was not a hafiz or reciter of Quran was not alim just ordinary young man loved life loved his family was caring for his family caring for the people he's serving in his company have the best manner and etiquette in life when he deals with other people this young man on the day of Arafah uh, he was had an argument in his company with his superior something he was fasting and he uh, slept in the afternoon because he was preparing himself to take break the fasting later on unfortunately he never woke up and what we heard that he was uh, having what we call it cerebral hemorrhage or brain hemorrhage this young man went into a deep coma for nearly 29 days and the doctors in the hospital in the intensive care unit were in dispute whether he had a brain death or stem death or not to announce his death the family was shattered the wife was actually holding the rope of hope so the father and the mother and his sisters and brother and all the family at the last day they announced that he is dead when his sisters and brothers and colleagues and friends shared his story on the facebook and this is one of the benefits of the social media tens of thousands of people made dua for him made dua people that he did not know they have never seen and he had never seen and this is one of the benefits when you share something like this and people make dua and istighfar to the sick or to the poor or to the dead this young man died leaving behind him a widow of the age at the age of 28-27 and the young orphan at the age of four it was shocking news to the whole family to the whole family and to the friends and to the people really who did not know him because of his age and because of what he's, he is leaving behind he came to a, in a dream after he was buried to one of his cousins telling her please ask my sister and mother not to weep not to cry because this hurts me in my place and tell them that Allah give me the ability to choose between living on a wheelchair as a disabled or dying and being with Allah since I have seen my place in heaven I decided to choose being with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but please ask my father, my mother, my sisters to look after my wife and look after my son and look after them very well because these are the people that I love and they will leave behind one. This young man was not a reciter, was not a hafiz, was not a alim, was any ordinary young man, loved life and he wanted to live as much as he wanted to look after his small family, to raise his son as a grown-up man and to protect his wife and have more children and to respect and help his bigger family, the father, the sisters and the mother. What Allah did, and thank every one of you for sharing his story on the social media, is the cleanliness of the heart 
of this man, young man, and each and every one of us. It is the gate, it is the key for the gate of heaven. It's not how many verses of Quran you memorize, but how clean is our heart and how pure is our attention and how transparent is our soul when we meet Allah or when we deal with the people that we are trying to serve in this life and to please them. It is what we call in this ayah, It's actually the soul. How can we purify our soul and overcome the sicknesses of the heart? And the Prophet ﷺ said, Ala inna fil jasad mudra. Ida saluhat saluhat jasad kullu. Wada fasadat fasad jasad kullu. In, in, in the body of the man or the woman, there's a small chewing, a small muscle called the heart. If it becomes good, the whole body will become good. If it becomes bad, the whole body becomes bad. It's our intention. It's our deed. It's our planning what to do. So, May Allah bless you to take him as an example that Allah showed him his status in heaven not because he is from this group or this group but because of his clean heart, his clean intention, his pure soul and his service to humanity and to his family as well. So please, please treat our hearts. Let us all of us to treat our heart perfectly to be saved when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa